Alright, um, so the first part of our assignment is exponents. The second part is evaluating expression. Okay? So in your math journal, what I want everyone to do right now is on the side, I want you to write evaluate expressions. Right here. Um, eval we are going to be evaluating expressions, okay? Um, we have some words up here on our green paper. Um, our first word is numerical expression, and then our second word is evaluate, okay? A numerical expression um, is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation symbols. That sounds really intimidating, but I promise it's not. Um, raise your hand if you've heard of something called a number. Oh my gosh, right? In sixth grade, we know what a number is. Okay. And then, what is an operation symbol? I have a couple hands up. I have like a couple of guesses. An operation symbol. Um, I want you to be asking yourself what it is. I'm going to tell you a couple things about them. An operation symbol, there are four of them that we use frequently. Okay, there are four of them. And I'm going to give you one of the four. And then you're going to decide what the other three are. Are you ready? Yeah. Here's the first one. Ooh, more hands. Four hands. What are my other three? Tell your neighbor what you think operation symbols are. Okay, I need all eyes up here in three, two, one, and zero. I know, oh, you guys are getting points and jemmies. I'm coming to more out of jemmies in a second. I know that you know what they are. I heard it. So if this one's addition, what's another one? Subtraction. Subtraction. And then what? Multiplication. And then division. division. Perfect. Okay. So really, an expression, it is a math problem. That's what we're talking about right now. An expression, it's numbers that involve operation symbols. That's a math problem. And I know you guys will know how to solve those. Okay. Um, and then our second word right here is evaluate. And evaluate means to what? Solve. Solve. Okay, so today, basically what we're doing is we're solving math problems. And the way that we're going to solve math problems is by using order of operations. Who has heard of PEMDAS before? Order of operations. Okay. Um, in case you need help remembering, because when we're taking tests, you're not going to get to use your math journals, we are going to remember PEMDAS by, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, who has an actual Aunt Sally. I, for reals, have an Aunt Sally. It's my dad's sister. She lives in St. George. She's really nice. Who has an aunt in here? Dominic, we're not coloring with highlighters. That's definitely not what we're doing. Who has a crazy aunt in here that's sometimes embarrassing? That's the kind of aunt I am, and it's really fun. And so when your crazy aunt comes over and she's like, oh my gosh, come here, you so much. And then you're like, stop it, right? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to say, please excuse my dear aunt Sally. She's crazy. Tell your neighbor how we remember right now. Please excuse my dear aunt Sally. She is so crazy, but we love them anyways. Okay, so um, I want to I want to show you um, how we are going to evaluate expressions or solve some problems. Um, but before I solve it with you, or before I, yeah, before I solve it um, with you, I want to I want to um, just briefly go over my rule. What is my rule in math and showing work? We have to do something to make sure we don't make stupid mistakes. What do we need to do to our work, friends? Tell me. Idiot-proof We're going to idiot-proof our work, okay? And the way that you idiot-proof your work when we are evaluating expressions or solving these problems is picking it apart, going piece by piece by piece, and moving down line by line by line, okay? Um, so we're going to start with... Um, my expression. Well, first, I'm actually going to write out um, PEMDAS so I can know what order I need to go in. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? Because she's crazy. And go ahead and you guys are welcome to write with me. Okay, so our problem that we're going to solve is going to be 3 plus 16 times to the second power. Okay. All right. So the way that I'm going to solve this, and I want pencils down. You'll get. I'll give you guys a chance to copy this, and you'll get a chance to do this. 
um, and so I'll the next one with me, but I just want everyone watching it first, okay? All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna start with P. Do I have any parentheses? No. Nope. No. Do I have any E's? Exponents, yes. Yes. yes, I do. It's right here, okay? So I'm actually going to, um, I'm gonna solve this, but the way, when I solve this, I am only, on my second line, I'm gonna rewrite everything that I see except for this one right here. So I'm gonna keep my three plus 16 times now this is where I'm actually going to change this number, two to the second power. Two to the second power is actually two times two, and what is two times two? Four. Four, okay? Can you see how everything is the same except for one part? Yeah. Yeah, okay? So now I'm ready to move on to multiplication and division. Just a reminder um, that when we are doing order of operations, the multiplication and division is done at the same time, and addition and subtraction is done at the same time as well. Um, and when we have, if we have both of them, we just work in order from left to right, okay? So um, I'm gonna start with multiplication and division. Do I have any multiplication and division here? Yes. yes. Absolutely, so it's going to be my 16 and four, okay? So I'm going to keep my three the same. I'm gonna just bring it down to my next line, and then I'm going to add it to, what's 16 times four? Well, 64. bam, look at that, we already did the work. It's 64, good. 64. So I took care of my multiplication and division, and now I'm left with addition and subtraction. Do I have any addition and subtraction here? Yes. yes. Okay, big question, think in your mind, it's gonna be really hard. Three plus 64, think it, think it, think it. Say it out loud, what is it? 67. 67, and bam. We just evaluated that expression. Go ahead and have your math journal match my math journal. It was so hard, and then I need pencils up when you're done, so I know that we are ready to move on. Connor, I bet you do. Okay, lots of pencils up. So here's our next one. Go ahead and copy this down, and we're gonna work on it together. Just move over to the right, and we're gonna work on this together, okay? So I have my order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I have my um, expression here, and I'm going to evaluate it. So I'm actually going to solve this problem. So tell your partner what the first thing is that we need to do when we're going to solve this problem. What do we need to do? Okay, we are going to start with the parentheses, okay? So here are my parentheses, and I'm actually going to keep my four times and then I have my parentheses right below. And I'm gonna solve what's in my parentheses. But before I can solve what's inside of my parentheses, it's gonna be eight plus five to the second power. Well, I actually need to solve out this five to the second power. So I'm going to copy down my eight, bring it straight down, plus five to the second power. Don't do what, don't make that careless, silly, stupid mistake and do five times two. Nope, that's not what it's asking. Five to the second power is really five times five. five. Good, five times five is what, friends? 25. 25, good. Okay, so now I have, um, so I took care of my exponent right there, but I'm still working on parentheses, okay? So I'm gonna bring 14. down my four times, and let's put, um, let's keep my parentheses in there, so it's going to be eight, plus 25, with return number, what's eight plus 25? And then tell me, what is it? 33. Good, 33. So now, I took care of what was inside my parentheses, right? It was 33. Um, I can keep my parentheses, I can erase them, either way it's fine. I know that I'm going to be working with 33. So now I come back to order of operations, and then I'm gonna move to E, exponents. Do I have any exponents right now? No. Nope, they were inside of my parentheses, and I already took care of them. So now I'm going to look at multiplication and division. Do I have anything to multiply or divide? Yes. Yeah, I do. It's going to be 4 times 33, and I don't know what 4 times 33 is, so I'm going to do some math on the side, and that is 100% just great. 4 times 3? 12. 12. 4 times 3? 12. Oh my gosh, it was like deja vu. Uh, 12 plus 1 is 13. So 4 times 33 is what? 32. 132. High five your partner because we just evaluated that expression. Oh, yes. Okay, and then finally we have one more. We have one more that we're gonna do. Um, and I want you to go ahead and work this one out with your partner. We're gonna write, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. 
And then here is your expression. Your expression that you're solving is going to be 2 to the third power plus 4. Okay, 2 to the third power plus 4. I need all I have here in three, two, one, and zero. I'm going to start with parentheses. Do I have any? No. Nope. No. Nope. Then I'm going to move into what? Exponents. Exponents. Oh, you guys can see. There you go. No parentheses. Moving into exponent. So this is actually going to be written as two times two times two. Is it going to equal six? No. No. Because two, two to the third power is not six. It's two times two times two. Okay, and then plus four. What is two times two? Four. What's two times two? Four. four. And then four times two is eight. eight plus four. And I'm going to bring it straight down. Do I have anything to multiply and divide? No. No. Do I have anything to add and subtract? Yes. Yes. What's eight plus four? Twelve. Twelve. High five your partner if you came up with 12 for your answer. Oh, Perfect. I, okay, I need all our left here in three, two, one, and zero. Thank you. Lexi and Laura and Clara are going to move up. Friends, when we are evaluating expressions, it's not hard as long as you can follow the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay. Um, Addison, thank you. When your